Nice. That was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Success. Yay. So check this out. We've been holed up in this house for what about 16 months now? <laughs> we haven't like we haven't been out of the house years. for like two years. Um it was birthday before last, but <laughs> stuff is crazy. Um <clears throat> yeah, so we're about to go check a creek that's pretty close to our house. Um I really don't have time to throw everything together because I don't have it all organized to go on like a full-blown fishing trip, and I know that sounds bad so what we did is i made a drink she made a drink we're gonna throw that in the truck with some fishing stuff and uh she's not even dressed up for fishing look at her she got her pink i'm just going to be in the she water. got her pink shirt on and her booty shorts i'm literally just going to get and then water. uh so anyway guys we're just gonna jump in the creek and uh <clears throat> oh yeah yesterday i got in the um the boat so <clears throat> As you guys can see, I got a lot of gear organization still to do. It is so loud. A lot. That. That's ridiculous. I planned on having all this done before the state raised their things, but I got some stuff from Rogue uh, Fishing Co. I got some Yak Attack stuff and I got some NRS stuff. And then, bam, I got the Star Rival. It's like a stand-up paddleboard kayak. They call it a kayak. I think it's more like a stand-up paddleboard that's inflatable. I'm going to compare that to the pike. Uh, but we're getting geared up to get on the water for um, a creek fishing trip. Right now, tomorrow, I'm going on the creek on an overnighter uh, with a good buddy of mine, Alex. And uh, there's Christy's Jeep. <laughs> All right, so listen, guys. I'm kind of rambling now, but this might be the most unorganized... Um, ridiculous vlog that we ever do but we're getting out of the house and we decided we would share it with you guys we're gonna go try to fly fish in a creek so anyway i saw some smallmouth on one of the bridges that i drove over uh the other day and it should be about right anyway for this part of the creek that we're going to so we're gonna go about 15 minutes from our house and see if we can't find some fish in a creek by the house and it's just uh just to kind of get out and explore and then tomorrow i'm gearing up to get on the river and go on an overnight trip with a buddy of mine named alex uh, meadows you'll meet him tomorrow hey, or in the next video that? what oh yeah sorry truck's getting hot for christy on the road so guys christy's got a bass right here on the bed i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it but there's a about a two and a half three pounder right there on the bed and she's just doing a little roll cast with the fly rod and floating this fly in to see if we can get it to eat it there's a whole bunch of brim and the bass is chasing the brim off in this little hole right here and she's kind of establishing a perimeter. There you go. You can almost uh, regular cast baby like this. Like if you do it sidearm. What's that? Yeah, and if you get those brim to come in where that bass is, that bass will run out and chase those brim off and then eat your fly. So guys, we're at a little bridge by our house and there's like um, about 30 bass right here behind this piling, but they're not eating right now. And then right out here, there's a bass on the bed. I'm not exactly sure if you guys can see that fish, but it just chased this brim off right here and that's swimming back over there. Oh yeah, there's one right up by the tree. Actually, let me see if the glasses will help you guys see it, even though my face is kind of dirty. But, like, I'll put these. Let me put that over there. Put that glass over that. You see that bass right there. Glasses are kind of dirty. But, anyway, the fish is literally right there, just swimming away. And uh, Christy's toying with them. And then right here over her shoulder, there's a little dot dash right there. Right there. You should see it under the tree. You guys can probably see it. There's a little dash right there that if they don't eat this uh, beaded woolly booger here in just a second, I'm going to put Christy a little popper on. She's going to throw it over there by that tree. Pop, pop. And one of them fish is going to smack it. This fish right here is back on the bed right there. Just inside the edge of that shadow. You should be able to see it right there. Mm-hmm. And then what that'll do is that'll piss that bass off and she'll turn around to chase off all them little brim. And then hopefully 
eat your fly. Yeah, she did it oh, see her chasing head. off. You guys see her chasing off all them brim. Now she's right there, kind of swimming around. But basically what she's doing is establishing a perimeter and her bed is right there. And uh, that's just one of the cool things about getting on a creek is you just have the ability to see all this cool stuff. You guys might even be able to see this a little better. Actually, let me zoom in right here. But there's a fish right there under the tree. See that little dash right there? Yeah, that's a fish right there. Right there. I'm not very good at pointing at fish on video. So if I'm not pointing exactly at the fish, I apologize. Oh, you were right on top of her. Well, she's kind of agitated now. So drag it over and let it fall into the bed and she might just eat it. You'll have to strip your line like you're stripping a standard retrieve. Oh, look at her. She's going out. She's going out there. Uh, let it fall. Now pull it on into the bed. Yeah, she's definitely in guard mode now. She does not want anything in there. So if you just kind of let it fall in there when she picks it up. Oh, look at you. Floating it in. See how fast her tail's going now, baby? That's when they start to get to that point where they're right about ready to like, you know, it's kind of like when your grandma gets agitated because you left your shoes in the middle of the floor and, or that. Yeah, get it in her face right now because she's good and agitated. Get it in her face. It's behind that rock now, so you can't see it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's nosing down. She's a little bit agitated. Did she suck it? Oh, so do it again and just bring it in from the other side. That little dude on that rock right there will probably eat it if you let it slide down that rock. Oh, she's coming out. No. Nope. Tell you what, get it into the bed so that it's there when she comes. Oh, look at her, 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 look at her. Golly. She's coming back. Yeah, just... Strip between your fingers so you've got the ability when she does eat it to set the hook and then just cane pole it. There you go. Just let it fall. Look at her. She's over here running this brim off. She is like, get the hell out of town. And see, she's not eating it. She's just running it all the way away. And then she's going to come right back, follow it right back to the bed. Listen, if this ain't exciting for you, you can just get the hell on out of here right now because this is exciting. <laughs> she is literally... She's giving it the evil eye. So put that line between these two fingers and kind of pull yourself down to it so that when she does eat it, you can set the hook because if you're up that high, you won't have any leverage. She's going to take it here. And, oh, <laughs> She just ran that little bass off. Guys, I honestly don't know how well y'all are gonna be able to see this without polarized glasses. I'm gonna get a polarized filter for this camera so I can play with this spring stuff a lot better. This is what makes bass fishing exciting, man. She is guarding that bed. She literally has her nose right on it. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. All right, so you play with her. I'm gonna go look in the fly box and see if I got something that I think might be a little bit more agitated. Something that might get her fired up. And then we'll try to catch her. Oh, so what just happened? So she finally ate it, but it came off. So um, All right, guys, so listen, I went, let her reset. I went and got this. It's a weighted deer hair crawfish fly. So before, no, no, don't cast out yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up. Listen, listen, this is going to land on the bottom and set up like that. And it's got little tentacles and it's going to irritate her. So you hold this and I'm going to tie the fly. Okay, wet it first right there. Kind of drop it to get, get the plumage wet. Is it still floating? Might not be heavy enough to get down with that bigger leader. See what she does. I don't know, but look at all those minnows. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is bringing them in by the thousands. Look at that. Holy crap. That's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to retie that for in a second to get that fish. But I imagine if we threw it down there past that tree, it would probably draw a strike from those shadows. 
man look at that fish right there just swimming coming back to the bed I doubt she's gonna pop up and hit it on top right now. Oh, you got it to fall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta get the plumage wet so that it can sink down. Ooh. Oh. She is on it. Get her, baby. Get her. Just let it sit. She's gonna she's gonna lose the staring contest in a second. She's chasing them bass off. See it? She's chasing. Mad she's mad at the world. She's mad at everything. Look, there's two more juvenile females right there that she's pushing away. Guys, I apologize for the noise, but we are trolls right now. We are under the bridge, and I just, there's nothing I can do about it. But Chrissy's about to catch this fish. I feel like instead of trolls were the red hot chili peppers. What? I said instead of trolls were the red hot chili peppers. Look at her. Just darted over here, guys, chasing these, chasing that brim away. See her? God, I hope everybody can see this and I'm not just like pointing the camera. I don't think anybody can see it. Oh. I'm just gonna, Ooh, look at that. Look at that. She Chase. is so mad. I'm telling you. She's going to come back and eat this. That means they are ready to get set up. She's not spawning yet, but she's establishing the perimeter to run everything off. She is kicking out some energy chasing those fish away. That's why a brim bait, like a bull, bra a bull shad, when you swim that bull shad in, they think it's a a bull, sh a brim, and they chase, tr try to chase it off. And when it don't run away, they eat it. Man, look at all these other fish starting to come in now. She's like not real happy about that. Here she comes. It's one of those days when you drop the shampoo in the shower, like nothing goes right. She feels like nothing is right right now. Look at her. She's staring at this thing. She's coming back quickly. It's definitely bugging her that it's there. How could she get that close to it and not eat it? Like literally, I think she kissed it actually. That's called bed fishing, baby. It's just like that. Okay, let's change flies real quick. Just kind of swim it in there. So the trusty crawl didn't work. Christy's changed it out to a rabbit hair clouser hybrid. Just kind of like a half and half deceiver, deceiver clouser. It's got a little bit of chartreuse on it. It's got chartreuse dumbbell eyes. So it'll, it'll stick out to her in the bed a little bit better. And then it'll also potentially kind of irritate the fish. Go around that way with your, uh, there you go. Now just drop it in there. That's gonna ma make her insane. Hmm? Leave it in there. When she comes back, just kind of jiggle it just enough to make it where she sees it move. And it's so heavy, you can also hop and pop it almost. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pop it. Oh man. See her? Nosing down. Mm -hmm. She's looking up and backing out. Hop it. Yeah. I like it when her, the tail fins get all like Mm -hmm. It's kind of like ruffling feathers. We like it when y'all's tail fin gets like that, too. <laughs> it's like ruffling feathers. Where'd she go? She's back there in that shadow. Oh, I see her coming. Yeah. She left to say, maybe it'll be gone when I get back. <laughs> if I don't look, it's not there. If I close my eyes, it's not scary. Hop. Oh, dude. Let it sit dead still. Don't mess with it. All right, now just lift and hop. There you go, there you go, there you go. She's like, this is ridiculous. She's cutting back, she's sharking. She's about to eat it. 
just pop it a tiny bit. Holy, this is stressful and I'm not even fishing. She's sharking back. So do you see that little hard rock right there in the back corner? That's more of the where she's gonna make the bed. So drag it this way about a half inch towards us and straight at that little rock. Then you're gonna have it right in the dang honey hole and she's gonna hate that. You are in the money spot right now. She is not gonna like that. She's coming in. Go ahead and just tickle it. Not even a full lift, just a tickle. But see how aggressively she's coming back? She is not gonna deal with this much longer. So guys, this is what the way Christy is when she cooks dinner at night. She has this thing in the kitchen called the triangle that you can't be inside. And if somebody comes inside the triangle, she kind of loses her mind. So right now this bass is starting to get frustrated that somebody's in her triangle. I think this bass has a lot more patience than I do. That lure is just as big as that brim that was chasing it. As soon as I get up there to start trying to put her fly rod together so she can catch one, she actually <laughs> lands the fish. I did it. Go. Oh, man, you talk about being patient. Man, that's a smallmouth. Turn it around. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at, look that. at that. that. That was worth some fight. That's your personal best smallmouth on a fly rod, right? It's my first smallmouth. So first, <laughs> personal best. Yeah, and it's a good one. Yeah, What's hold it? it up next to the reel. All right, so we got the official photo with the <laughs> fly rod in the mouth. I was telling Christy what you pretty much got to do as a fly fisherman, and now she's going to get the release. Okay, so get her back in here. That girl back in the water. Don't fall in with her. Nope. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome. Success. <laughs> Yay. Well, Yay. that took 45 minutes, right? So yeah. a little bit longer than you're used to, but that's not really that long for I had to be patient, some bed it fish. Was so good. But you notice how you started seeing that body language? Yeah. Get a little bit more aggressive and she'd honestly, swim away and come back. Eyes on this lure well, that that's it. part of it, yeah. I mean, she So basically what she's saying is I get an assist <laughs> for expert guiding, but anyway, sorry. When I started shaking the eyes, like she did, she couldn't handle it anymore. And it was right in that sweet spot in the back corner of the now, bed. I wasn't looking because I was up there trying to set the other fly rod right up, but did she hammer it? Did she pick it she up? She hammered it and went that way. Yeah, so what she was doing is taking, taking it to it drop away. it off the bed. Yeah, and then you just her. stuck her. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's vlog. Um, the whole goal of the video was to go catch a fish in the creek, and we accomplished that. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shut up. This was Christy's experience, and I'm going to let her tell you about it real quick. Actually, before I do, the first thing that stressed Christy out was underneath the bridge right here. It says no trespassing, and she's a rule follower. Uh, so I was nervous for several minutes. Um, so, no, so I, I mean, it was fun. It's been a minute since I caught any kind of fish, and that was a, a good fish. I've never caught a fish like that on fly, so that was really fun. But I kind of feel guilty because it's kind of like taking candy from a baby. Like, you know you're gonna agitate her enough if you can just be patient. And it's clear water, like you can see and you know exactly what to do that makes her get all irritated. So I kind of feel bad because I could see the whole thing unfold, but it was still fun. <laughs> Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, Christy's take on bed fishing. But listen, I want to tell you about a quick corollary where fishing is a lot like life. If you agitate her enough, eventually you'll get what you want. So that's Chad's words of wisdom for life. And uh, see you all in the next video. Love y'all. All right, woman, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, before we get arrested. <laughs> There's somebody else been fishing. I think it's been a minute. I swear if this woman was in the woods by herself, she'd be lost. What happened was we went 100 yards, but I moved the truck and she got lost. Where do we go up at? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Y'all have a good night.